So hello and welcome to a new lecture on statistics where this time we are going to introduce the expected value. So the expected value is actually one of the main parameters that is used to describe any set of measurements or in more general terms any kind of data collection. So in order to get started we will first write down the formal definition of the expected value. So the expected value actually of some random variable x is the sum going from k equals 0 to some n of some values x index k probability multiplied by the probability of random variable x equals small x of k where basically um, we have uh, the random variable belongs to the set of values uh, x1, x2 up to xn. So in order to in develop an intuitive feeling for what the expected value is, we are going to uh, consider again the um, example of the flip of a coin two times that was already introduced in the previous lectures. So basically we have uh, the random space, uh, the random, um, random sample of the uh, random experiment flip of a coin, which has basically four different elements. So here we have the sample space with the corresponding random variables. So basically for having no times tails, so zero times tails, we have x equals zero. Having one times tails, we have x equals one. And two times tails, we have x equals two with corresponding probabilities p of x equals zero, one fourth, p of x equals one, two fourth, or one half, and p of x equals two, one fourth. So basically what we have is that the random variable x belongs to the set of zero, one, two. So with this, we are now ready to uh, work out the um, expected value for this precise uh, random experiment of the coin flip two times in a row. And we will basically use this formula here. So basically E of X equals the sum from K equals zero to this time two. So basically we have here three different values. So zero, one, and two. Um, x of k, p of x equals xk. So basically what that means here, so basically we have uh, k equals zero first, so we have um, uh, the random variable uh, zero times the prob associated probability p of x equals zero, so one fourth plus random variable 1 times the associated probability uh, p of x equals, e equals 1 2 fourths plus random variable 2 times the associated probability 1 fourth. So this is 0, <coughs> this is uh, 1 half and this is 1 half. So basically we have 1 half plus 1 half which is of course 1. So we see that for this precise example, we uh, obtain an expected value that is equal to one. So in order to get, uh, develop an intuitive understanding of what this result actually means, we are going to draw uh, the probability mass function that was already introduced in one of the previous lectures. So we can, we are pretty quick here. So the probability mass uh, function can be drawn uh, in a two dimensional plot. On the uh, x-axis we have the random variables and on the y-axis um, we have the corresponding probabilities p of x. So we have three different random variables 0, 1 and 2. So here we have 0, here we have 1 and here we have 2. And the corresponding probabilities are obtained for x equals 0 is 1 fourth. For x equals 1, we have 2 fourths. And for x equals 2, again, uh, 1 fourth. So we can actually draw in here the probabilities. And 1 fourth. Uh, and in order to better illustrate this, we can actually uh, use the uh, histogram style and draw a histogram around, so a small, a small bar.
So with this, we are now ready um, to uh, analyze our result of expected value being one. And we actually see from the histogram and also from the table, of course, that the probability is highest for the random variable uh, x being one. So what we expect actually when we um, uh, flip a coin two times in a row is that we obtain in average, so we expect in average to obtain at least uh, one time uh, tails. So, okay, hope uh, this uh, video was of some use for you. Uh, please uh, su subscribe to my channel, uh, leave a thumbs up and uh, seeing you in the next video.